raising your standards. This is gonna be an extremely impromptu YouTube video. I'm on a hike right now, a little walk by myself. It's raining, but because I'm on 75 hard and I gotta do two workouts a day, one of them outdoors, well, we're gonna have to step in the mud. <sighs> Why am I even telling you that? I'm telling you that because in life, if you set a standard for yourself, you gotta keep that motherfucker. Meaning you gotta hold yourself to a high standard and then keep to that standard. And I have made a major, major error in my career and in my life and in my business and in so many different sales situations. Sales is a service. And I'm learning this a lot from my mentor, Austin Medlin, who's, a, who's amazing. I'm learning that like, when you're in a position to help people, you need to help them. And the main thing that I have been missing, the main driver that has been holding me back from helping more people and which in turn will then grow my business and get my career to where I personally would like it to be is I have really high standards. This is super fucking real right now. I have extremely high standards for myself. I beat myself up, which I shouldn't do. And I just hold myself to a high regard. But you know what ends up... Ah, oh shit. But you know what ends up happening? I have done that to other people in the past. Like, I've held them to a high standard. And they've gotten their feelings hurt. And they've gotten mad at me. And they've pushed me away. And they've argued with me. And the truth is, it's because those people... Those people weren't of a high standard. They weren't high level people. But like all my boys, like I can name off, I could just rattle off people like all my guys. First of all, they don't need me to hold them to a high standard. But all my guys that I talk to, like the real killers in my life, the elite people, when I hold them to a high standard, you know what they say? They go, fuck, you're right. Or when they hold me to a high standard, I'm like, fuck, you're right, bro. My bad. But I've had people in my life where I've held them to a high standard and they're like, shut up. Don't tell me because they're not high level people. That's the end of the story. So the problem is when I get into situations where somebody might you know, book a call with me to inquire, not even inquire, fuck inquiring. You can inquire on my fucking YouTube channel. When, when, when somebody gets onto a call with me to decide if they want to enroll in the Rapid Fire Music Academy, sometimes what happens is when I start asking them, like, what are your challenges? Where are you at with stuff? They will, they will, they will exude qualities that, that really shows them they don't want to make a change in their life. In my brain, I say, okay, like, this person's not serious. Push them away. Disqualify them. That's the wrong response. And this one change right here is what's going to make everything different in my life. Because I hold myself to a high standard, what ends up happening is sometimes I have to decide, am I going to hold them to that standard or am I going to go down to their standard? Most of the time, I will lower my standards for that person to not make them feel bad, to relate to them. I don't want to push them away. No, 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 no. That cannot continue to happen. To be a leader, to truly be the best version of myself and to be authentic to me, I have these high standards for myself. So when I hear somebody be passive, like I had a call with a guy yesterday and I feel so bad that I didn't push him and enroll him into the academy because he honestly needs it. He's, he was being very passive. He has like a career, doesn't really care about it, doesn't really care about his music. And I should have been a lot more, hey man, why do you not care about these things? Like, why do you have this super passive attitude about both of these things? Like, I would make a decision, quit, e either go all in on your career and quit music because clearly you don't seem like you care that much about music or do the opposite and say, no, I'm going to also have my career, but I'm going to go all in on music and I'm going to give it my all. Like the intensity that I'm speaking with now needs to resonate when I talk to other people. Simple as that. I need to have my high standard and then everybody who's down here needs to come up to me. And if they can't come up to me, then I don't need that. Then, then at least tell them that that's the thing I was making. The mistake was I wouldn't be telling people that I would be like, I would be like, Oh, like, let them go. That's what it would happen. I would be like, let them go. Not a big deal. Push them away. Disqualify them in my brain. But that's not how it should be. It should be like, okay, at the very least, like fucking leave it all on the line. Hey, here's the deal. I have these standards. I'm going to raise you up to these standards. And if you don't want to come up to these standards, I'm going to call you out. 
And I'm going to make you know that you are literally settling for lower standards in your life. And if you're not willing to come up to here, then you should know that at the very least. Give them a kick in the ass. You don't, not everyone who comes on a call with me has to enroll. I don't need you to. I've got enough money in the bank and I'm, everything for me is cool and paid off. I don't need it. I just want to help you and you need the help. So that's, man, this one shift right here is literally the shift that I didn't even realize I needed. And I, 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 I didn't know I needed this shift, but I've made that shift. And so, you know, if you're watching this right now and you're like, how does this translate to me? Hold high standards for yourself and make everybody else around you raise their standards. And if they don't want to raise their standards, at least tell them that, like make them known. And by the way, you have to do things that shows that you have high standards. If you aren't doing things, like if you just think to yourself that you have high standards, but you don't actually do anything and you don't have any, there's no output that shows you actually have high standards. Like how much money is in your bank account? What does your body look like? What does your relationships look like? If you're just like starting out like brand new, you don't have a lot of money in the bank, which is fine. You don't, you're not ripped and shredded. Like you don't have any actual, like if I look at you and talk to you and see you and there's no evidence that you actually hold yourself to a high standard, then you can't hold other people to a high standard. But if you have things in your life that are like, okay, yeah, this dude's legit. Cause you could say you hold people to a high standard and hold yourself to a high standard, but you gotta be authentic. If you ain't actually doing it. Okay. Well then you can't, you can't hold people to that standard. Cause they're not going to believe you at the end of the day. Like great, easy example. If a broke person is telling me things about money, I won't believe them. I'm like, well, you don't have money. Or if a not shredded person, meaning like shredded with your body, like if you're not super strong and you don't look strong and you're telling me a fat person, let's say you're really overweight, which is fine if you are, but if you're in that situation, you You can't give me advice on the gym. You can't hold me to a high standard. That's what I mean. So if I have friends and they're like, Lee, like you need to, like, why are you not in the gym? Like, are you like, for example, like I'm on a hike right now, by the way, I'm on a hike because this is my off day from lifting, but let's just use this as an example. Someone goes, oh, you're not at the gym. Like, why aren't you at the gym, bro? You skipping the gym? Like trying to hold me accountable. Like, well, are you ripped? And like, if you're ripped, cool, I'll explain it to you. But if you're not, don't talk to me like that. Like you don't have the right to talk to me like that because you're not holding yourself to a higher standard than me. So like, what are we talking about here? So that's for you, that last little bit. But this video, to be honest with you, was mostly because I just wanted to get this off and document my journey. Hope you enjoyed, talk soon.